Guys, what's up? In this video, I'm super freaking excited to talk about Config 2025. Stay right to the end of the video because I'm going to tell you all of the features that I talk about, when exactly are they going to be released and how soon you can actually get access to them. The first feature that they've introduced is Figma Sites. It's basically a framer or Webflow competitor where you can actually go ahead and just design directly in Figma and publish it directly live. To make it responsive, you can have your own CMS collections, you can have custom React components embedded here as well, you can have dynamic data in there as well. So it's amazing and obviously interactions as well, similar to let's say Framer. The next thing that they've introduced are grids in Figma. So similarly, what we actually used to do previously, we used to have auto layout, we used to stack things and stuff along those lines. Now they actually have grids, which allow you to just basically resize things to the grids that you actually want, and it's gonna resize them it to them. You can also decide how many actual cells do you actually want in these grids, and it's gonna allow you to do that as well, which is pretty amazing. Next, we have Figma Make, which is an AI tool, which is gonna allow you to actually take your design and directly convert it into actual coded applications. And you can probably publish them as well. I think I saw that in the demo. Next, we have Figma Draw. Figma Draw is basically an enhanced capability of drawing vector graphics. So previously, obviously, we know Figma vector graphic generation was quite limited. People had to go to Adobe Illustrator to actually generate them. But now you have, again, custom paths as well. You have custom brushes the text on path tool that was quite missing. You have a lot of different things. You have the ability to go ahead and actually produce a lot of awesome effects, like for example, layer blurs as well. I think layer blurs, particularly progressive blurs are introduced throughout. One major thing that I'm super excited about is actually this that you see in front of you, which is the shape modifier tool. This is very similar to the shape builder tool, or you, we can just call it shape builder tool, which actually allows you to do, select the whole shape and then basically just take your mouse or take your particular pen and sub subtract things out, add things out, do whatever. The next thing that they've introduced is Figma Buzz. Figma Buzz basically allows you to actually grab your designs and publish them as templates into this particular tool, which is Buzz. There you can actually link your data to actual content, like for example, actual realistic content by, for example, a spreadsheet. And it's gonna actually automatically just go ahead and generate all of these images directly from that particular spreadsheet. And these templates are going to be different for, let's say, different types of usages. Like for example, you can have an actual uh, image from the template with real data for, let's say, LinkedIn separately, for Twitter separately, for maybe uh, a reel separately and stuff along those lines. All of these can have different sizes, but they can actually be linked to a single template. So if you're making changes or you're doing things, you can easily go ahead and do that directly. You have a lot of capability there and obviously a lot of power. So we'll be checking that out. All of this is Figma now. So Figma in itself, if you actually think about it, is competing with Framer, Webflow, uh, custom design to AI tools. And obviously it's gonna be more powerful because Figma is gonna have access and understanding of the design much better than some of these tools. It's competing potentially with Canva now. It's competing with Illustrator. Figma is becoming a joint of its own and it's insane. And I'm super excited to talk about these, de these particular features in a bit more detail in the next video, hopefully. So as promised, I wanna talk about when exactly you'll get access to them. But first I wanna talk about this content seed that they're going to introduce, which is gonna have access to Figma Buzz, Site CMS, Fig Jam, and Figma Slide. So if you're not a designer, you can actually subscribe to something like this to actually get all of this for a bit cheaper. So that's one. Now coming to some of the other things, like for example, when exactly you're gonna get your hands on these features. Grid support in Figma is going to be available for all Figma design users later today, so 7th or tomorrow. Figma Sites is also going to be available for, uh, to everybody based on my understanding. Obviously, uh, linking a custom domain or additional features may actually cost you a, a bit more. So it's going to be available later today as well, today or tomorrow, hopefully. Figma Sites CMS plus code or custom coded component support is going to come soon, they mentioned, so maybe a few months. Uh, Figma Make is actually going to be available to everybody in the next few weeks. And it's going to be available in beta for every Figma user, but then they're going to transition it to a separate product, obviously. So they are going to um, make their money first, or they're going to get people to adopt it and then make their money after uh, making it a separate product. Figma Buzz is also going to be available for full dev and content seats. It's also going to be later today, 7 to 8 May, 
and Figma Draw is also going to be available later today as well. So most of these features are going to be available to you in today, tomorrow, or maybe in the next couple of days. I think probably by tomorrow you should have access to all of them. So definitely do check it out. And we're gonna get definitely go in a bit more depth reviewing all of these things later.